Yo. We're talking about morning what? wood. I don't know if there's younger folks. There are. There's younger folks getting into fitness always, right? It's a cyclical. It's a, Mufasa told me it's the circle of life. And so, you know, I'm old. I've done this for 15 years. I've learned a thing or two. I've read a thing or two. I've rubbed elbows with some of the smart folks in the world. Dr. Eric Helms, Ramsey Nigel, Dr. Graham, all these people. And the new kids coming up, all they hear about is steroids. You got that. Charms and testosterone. So all they're doing is Googling how to increase my natural testosterone. What? So I'm something. here to tell you. Later in the video, I'll give this thing a thumbs up and subscribe. I feel weak, man. I'm getting skinny. Yeah, I'm starting to sweat. I think that's a good thing for you, though. No, I know, but it makes like it makes yeah. squats feel very. But like the way, the weaker you feel, the better you should feel. To be honest, right now. That is some. I don't know what that is, but that's good. That's pretty good. That's good. You're trying to get jacked. Well, I'm in the gym to get weaker. What because, are you doing? Because natty gang. That's why. If you're in the gym getting stronger, you're probably cheating on the sauce. True. It's probably true. It's true. I like to decrease. Everyone's talking about like progressive overload. I'm more of a regression underload guy. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the re aggressive regressive training program. I'm your leader, Silent Mike. I'll show you how to not only not build muscle, but also get weaker every single day. We'll probably just stay there. So right now I'm going two squat days a week, but I don't really care about squats. And then two deadlift days a week. And so today's heavy deadlift day. I'll stay light on my squats. And then Thursday's the other one, and we'll see, like, I go by more by feel. So if I feel good, I'll squat heavy. Otherwise, it'll be, like, a moderate day. So 405, if, if, if 515 okay. to 550 Feels is my match right plate. now, rough guesstimate. Um, 405 still in, like, the 70% range, you know? So we're in the pocket for some work. That's it. Keep it simple, folks. I'm for, right, here for the, di di what is the opposite of hypertrophy? Dystrophy? Uh, yeah. Hypertrophy, so it'd be... It's Fuck, dude. Fuck, I feel stupid when I can't think of the word. Just, we trying to go backwards out here, bitch. Just like how Mikey's squat's getting weaker and weaker by the day, and his muscles are getting smaller, he thinks he's getting more cut, you know? He walks around shirtless in the house. That's all he does. I go, hey, Mikey, you got to throw a shirt on? He's like, fuck, no, I'm jacked. I'm like, all right. That's what's up. Man, man, man. Sorry about that. Let me, don't let me get in the way, you know? Man said, man told me the other day, he goes, he goes, he goes, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm like at like 30 grams of fat a day right now. I'm like, hey, I'm like, are we trying to make gains here? Are we trying to, like, what are we doing here? You know? He's like, yeah, I'm getting weaker. I'm getting smaller. I'm like, what? Okay, so I'm waiting for the punchline. I'm waiting for the punchline. He's like, he's like, getting weaker, smaller. It's going good. I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean it's going good? He's like, yeah, 30 grams of fat. I'm at like 14 grams of protein. Oh. I'm like, okay. And carbs, he's like, carbs about three. I'm like, oh. So he's on a real cut. You can't say the man's not on a deficit, you know? Mike, would you say you're in a deficit right now? Dystrophy, dystrophy, but it's with a Y, oh. and it doesn't sound right. Yeah, I mean, uh, would you say you're in a good deficit right now? I'm in an aggressive, <laughs> regressive deficit, Okay, yeah. that works perfectly with what I just said. Yeah, then. I'm in a regressive deficit. Perfect, perfect, yeah. perfect. Yeah, I, I haven't had a calorie in three years. See? <laughs> Yeah, close. You ever yeah. had celery, idiots? Well, it's mostly hormones, hormones that matter anyways, but you idiots wouldn't know that. Yeah. Macros. <laughs> doctor, help. My doctor was kind of doing some shit like that. Am I, how does that work? Parent, uh, a well, doctor? Your doctor was doing this? That's no, 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 no. Asking me. Like, you know, asking about my ass and everything. I'm like, oh. hey, you know, I'm like doctor wanted to check the cake. She's like, not medically, uh, not a medical question, but how's the ass? I'm like, huh? I'm not, uh... I'm not, I'm not much for one with a sweet tooth, but boy, do I, did I use some cake. <laughs> she goes, uh, more of a savory guy, but yum, yum. Dude, she was, she was gassing me up. You went to a lady doc, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, I didn't even realize until I got there. My, my primary care is a chick. I have, like, some stretch marks right here. And she's like, look, she's like, oh, you have some stretch marks. I was like, I was like, yeah. So she started looking at my stomach to see if I had stretch marks. Like, I used to be fat or something. And I go, she's like, oh, like, literally flipped me around. She's like, I don't see any. She's like, why don't you have any stretch How marks? How big is this woman? She yeah. flipped you around? I mean, I, I didn't lay there like a dead fish. She, she goes, oh, yeah, Kyle? Boom. <laughs> she's like, we're just going to go ahead and do it. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> your, your doctor's fucking WWE China. 
The fuck? <laughs> the front office ladies like yeah. I'm moving. They're like, <laughs> they're like, oh, she's at it again. With some ammonia. Yeah. <laughs> Just grab you. She got a belt on. Grabbed you. She's like, woo. <laughs> <laughs> part of the hashtag natty gang how do we stay legal healthy while raising our testosterone because testosterone is the only thing i hear on the internet is how you get gains now the truth behind like naturally raising your testosterone is there's probably only three things that i'm going to actually suggest to you i'm not a doctor so in terms of all these supplements everything you hear probably trash probably not the best way to go about it in my personal opinion now if you want to raise your test because you feel in that lower range, you want to build more muscle, these are the things we can do. We can sleep eight hours a night. This will highly affect your own capabilities to produce healthy amounts of testosterone, regulate your hormones, let alone obviously just recover. The cognitive function goes through the roof, all our memories are formed and everything with deep sleep eight hours a night. Two, getting adequate amounts of protein and calories. If you're in a big calorie deficit, you're not eating enough protein, you may suffer and your hormones may be down-regulated because of that. Uh, the third is lift weights and lift heavy. I know that's not what you wanted to hear. I was in your exact seat. I was 18 on some deep, dark bodybuilding forums on the internet asking how I can get absolutely shredded like my favorite IFBB Pro and some of the legitimate coaches I found on there told me those three things and I gave them one of these and now 10 years later, I can't agree more with them. That's all we got. Um, so, Stay hydrated, get a bunch of sleep, eight hours a night, every single night. That doesn't mean I'm going raging because it's thirsty Thursday and the frat boys want to throw down, and then I'm sleeping until 10, then Saturday I'm going out again. Every single night, consistency over time, calories, getting adequate calories, maintenance, if not in a surplus, will help hormone regulation, uh, and then lifting heavy weights, compound movements. Now I guess go counter that, some people used to say, hopefully it's knowledge now, but people are like, yeah, man, you can't go big arms unless you squat. Because if you squat heavy, then your test goes up. This is real. CBS is made of face. People used to say this all the time. If you squat heavy, then your test goes up, and then you can build big arms. Which is, like, very loosely true. Like, very loosely. We can squat, deadlift, use the compound movements, lift heavy weight to keep our hormones regulated. Um, but if you want big biceps, you also got to train those puppies like you saw. Appreciate you. New videos come in every single week. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up. Catch you in the next one.